Police say some of the world's most venomous snakes were actually kept in unsecured plastic totes at a Florence apartment. Officers encountered the reptiles after the man who owned them was bitten by one of the snakes. ABC 15's Tanya Brown got a copy of the incident report. She joins us live tonight from the Florence Police Department. So what did you find out today, Tanya? Jennifer, the 58-year-old victim remains in the hospital, but on his Facebook page today, a post that says, quote, hashtag not dead yet. A Florence herpetologist says this is no laughing matter and definitely nothing to play with. The seizure of 14 snakes, some of them the world's most venomous creatures from an apartment in Florence, continues to shock the community. And what we learned from the incident report is even more shocking. Police say some of the ones seized from the home were unsecured in plastic totes. They were, quote, below acceptable standards and not adequately secured. The incident report also says two of the cages had holes in their tops of sufficient size that the reptiles could escape. I talked with the herpetologist and biology professor at Francis Marion University about how the snakes were kept in the apartment. The person was pretty irresponsible, yeah. The people that I know that keep venomous snakes usually keep them in locked cages so that, um, you know, there's no way the snake can escape. The report identifies the man who owns the snakes as 58-year-old Jeffrey Leibowitz. He's still in the hospital. Florence police have said he will not face charges because owning the snakes isn't a crime. State senators failed to pass a bill back in 2021 that would have made it against the law. To own non-native venomous snakes and to possess 10 or more would have been a felony. The herpetologist believes there should be some sort of law or measure in place. So I don't see the problem with keeping, say, boa constrictors or tortoises or something. But um, these, you know, highly deadly snakes, I, I don't think, you know, I think there should be something, at least some kind of a licensure uh, process for, for people to, to keep those if, if they're allowed to keep them at all. Police say the family of the man who was bitten by the snake and who owns the snakes gave them permission to humanely euthanize the reptiles. Live in Florence, Tanya Brown, ABC 15 News. Tanya, thank you. DNR recommended the reptiles be euthanized by placing them in a sub-zero climate, which was the safest option for the community.